Good evening, Daniel. How are you? Good evening, teacher. How was your day? Was okay. Awesome. Good, good, good. Good evening, Ursula. Good evening, Raynan. How are you, ladies? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Yeah. How was your day, Ursula? Um, it was a little tired. A little tired. Oh, my God. A little tired. Imagine. Yeah, and it's only Wednesday. Imagine. Imagine it's only Wednesday. Uh, tomorrow I have a day off. Okay, that's good. All right, so you don't have to work. Do you work on weekends? Yes, yes. Uh, on Saturday. On Saturday only. Yes, only. Uh, the eight to twelve. From eight to twelve. All right. From so just 12. part of the day. All right. So good. Good. Excellent. Thank you for sharing that, all right? Andre, how are you? Good evening, teacher. Fine, teacher. How are you? Great, I'm good. Thank you for asking, all right? Are you going to participate in the activities tonight? Yes, teacher. Okay, yeah, because we missed you yesterday. You know, last night you were not participating. Okay, so let's see here. We're just waiting. Uh, we're just gonna give one more minute for the rest of your classmates to see if they join the class. If not, we are going to start. So I can see Nuria today. Hello, Nuria, good evening. Hello, teacher, good evening. How are you? Fine, thanks. And you? I'm good. Thank you for asking. All right. So, how was your day? Um, my day is fantastic. Fantastic. Okay. Good. That's nice. Did you work? Yeah. Yes. Work. Okay. Um, so let's see here. Okay. okay, well, so we have waited for a long time already, so we are going to start the class uh, right now, all right, so, and we are going to do it just by, um, you know, sharing here what we studied yesterday. Do you remember what we were studying yesterday, yes or no? Yes. Uh huh. What was the topic that we checked yesterday? Do you remember? Mm -hmm. Hello, hello. Do you remember the topic that we studied yesterday, yeah. or not? Yesterday. Yesterday, we talked about review. The coordinating conjunctions, exactly, right? So with the fan boys here, all right? So and now let's see uh, if we can actually go here, all right? Oops, let's just go on this one. That was the review, 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 review. So it was a bigger image, so I just decided to split it, right? So... And so we can see this test uh, right here, right? So this review, exactly, that's the image that I'm talking about. Okay, so we have the coordinated conjunctions, right? So just in case that you don't remember then, so it's gonna be like and, or, for, nor, yet, so, and but, all right? So, and I wanna invite you guys to help me 
to complete the sentences with the correct conjunction. So there are 12 sentences, so we will see which is the correct one right here. All right, who can help me for number one? Number one here, what is the answer? It says, I know the answer, I can tell you. What, what is it, what's the answer? Mm -hmm. But, but. But, exactly, because you show something completely different, right? So I know the answer, but I can tell you, right? So the opposite, the contrast, very good. Thank you. What about number two? Number two says, should we go by train? Take the bus. Or. Which one? Or. Or. or, exactly, very good. You got it, you got it. All right, number three, it says, I'm allergic to cats. I have two of them. But. Would that be bad? Yes or no, people? Hello? It's so for me. It's so. Okay. I have two options. I have someone who said but, and I have someone who said so. I mean, so. Any other option? Yes. Yet. Okay. Very good. Anything else? So we have three options, yet, so, and but. Which one would you choose, people? For you, which one is the correct one? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, I'll help you with this one. Good job. All right, so in this one, it will be here. It will be... Da -da -da -da. Yet. Mm-hmm. Correct, correct. It's yet. Why yet? Because, yeah, remember that yet is similar to but, but in this one, it shows like um, like a bigger contrast, right? So in that case, I mean, if you're saying that you're allergic to cats, you're not supposed to have cats, right? By saying yet, I have two cats. So you're showing a bigger or a more drastic uh, contrast, right? So thank you. Number four, it says she did not study. What will be number four? Hello, hello, number four, what is it? Um, maybe so, so. We know so, exactly, right? As a result, exactly. So she did not study, so that's the consequence. So she failed the test, right? A consequence right there. What about number five? Number five, what is it? Hmm? Number five. Excuse me. Uh huh. What's number five, people? Four. Uh huh. It says, I will be late for the party. I will be having dinner with my parents first. So, four. Yes or no? Four or so? Mm -hmm. Four. Four, Four, yeah. So you're saying like that's why. All right. Number six. Number six, number six it says, can you stay here? Wait for him. And. And when and wait for him. Very good. Excellent. Thank you. So we can go this one. Now let's go with number seven. Number seven, it says. She does not like apples. Does she like oranges? So what is it? No. So that would be? I hear no. it. Nor, but... exactly. So nor this option, nor the other one either, all right? Good job. So you go on this one. Um, what about number eight? Number eight, number eight? Number eight? Yes. Wait, 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 wait. All right. So it's this one. He has a small house. It will be but. 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 Correct. What about number nine? Number nine says here you can pay with cash, you can use your credit card. 
or. or or very good excellent so what about number 10 number 10 number 10 he was driving too fast mm -hmm. but mm -mm. i mean yes but I wouldn't use but. I will use another one. Which one? Yet. Yet, exactly. All right. Yet, yet, yet. All right. So then, 11. We bathed the dog. We could not get him clean. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. What will be this one? I, I'm going to help. It's going to be either but or yet. But. It's bad. But. Okay. Very good. And what about the last one? He was supposed to study. He plays her games instead. It's end. And um, like like to continue with the same idea. Oh. Mm -hmm. mm, but who be bad? We can say like this one, we can say bad or yet, all right? I will go for yet in this case. I'll tell you what happens right here. So we need to remember what will be the main difference between bad or yet, all right? So it will be just like, yeah, to show a higher difference, you know, a different contrast here, right? So like in this one, for example, if you bought a dog but the dog's not clean, it's just about the same idea, like kind of opposite, but the same thing here. This one is, Totally different. That's the reason why we use yet. All right. So, but in general, guys, you're doing a very good job. Hey, do you have questions about the vocabulary on this exercise? Any word that you didn't understand? Any phrase or anything? Questions about vocabulary? No, teacher, but I have a question. Tell me. I don't understand the difference between but and yet. Oh, okay, no problem. It's what I was just saying before, right? So, but and yet, they both are for like to show contrast, okay? Ambas sirven para el contraste. What's the difference is just in the usage right here? For example, but it's used to show, um, let's say, a regular contrast. Like, for example, in number, um, let's see what number is this one. Number eight, for example. Take a look to number eight. It says he has a small house, but it feels very spacious. All right. So you're talking about like, tiene una casa pequeña, pero se siente muy amplia, muy espaciosa. Right. So we are still talking about the same thing, about the house. Right. Que se ve de una manera, pero se siente de otra. So, but still talking about the house. What happens, for example, in number 10? In number 10, you go on this one. He was driving too fast. Una acción totalmente different from la que sigue, right? He missed the turn. All right? So, eh, entonces, este jet es como la, la idea de a pesar de hacer la primera acción, la segunda didn't happen. Understand? Okay. That's yeah. actually the main difference. Mm -hmm. yeah. exactly. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. So, any other question, people? No more questions? Vocabulary? Not Clear? Okay, no problem. So we can continue right now here. In, let's see, let's continue with the next one. Okay, let's move to today's test. I mean, today's topic, right? 
which is basically to talk about the restaurant. So we're going to continue talking about restaurants tonight, all right? But we are going to get into details and about the vocabulary and so on, all right? So in this image, which also has the um, um, vocabulary in both languages, all right? So you guys can actually see some of the most common words, right? Or the most common vocabulary when we're talking about the restaurant. So for example, uh, let's just go here. Let me just um, circle here. So this one, I'm not going to ask you what is this in Spanish because you can see the meaning there in the image, right? So, but let's just work on the pronunciation. This is bread, right? Bread. Bread. There you go. Excellent. So, all right. And we go on this one right there in, um, you know, it's common actually when you go to a restaurant to have that as part of the meal, right? So um, then we go on the vocabulary here. Let's just go on this one, which is actually super important. All right. The starter, starter, starter. Everybody starter. Starter. Very good job. Excellent. So this one, it's just like the first um type of food that they serve to you, right? So for example, if we talk about pizza, just to give an example, let's talk about pizza. Have you ever ordered food at Pizza Hut? Or have you ever attended Pizza Hut restaurant? Yes? Yeah. All right, excellent. So when you go to the Pizza Hut restaurant, so we have the starter and then we have the, um, the main course. Right, and normally the starters are the breadstick, all right, or uh, the garlic bread, etc. Right, so which means la entrada, right? So the first thing you eat, or in some restaurants, it's also a type of food. I mean, soup, right? They they serve to you. Then you go on this one right here, um, the main course. This is how you can find it. Main course right there. What's the main course? As you can see here, it's like. The main thing that you guys are going to eat there, all right? So, like, it could be meat, chicken, um, you know, pizza, pastas, etc. right? So, like, the real reason why you, you decided to go to the restaurant, right? Well, in this one right here, it shows an example of a glass of wine, all right? So, when it goes on this one right here, glass of wine. Uh, which it could be, in this case, cas uh, copa de vino, but remember that the word glass also means vaso. So if you want to say, for example, un vaso uh, de agua, so how do you say that in English? Vaso de agua. Glass of water? A glass of water, right? So as you can see, the word glass means either copa or vaso, depending on what you're using, right? So the difference will be in the beverage, in the drink that you're actually having. All right, so then we continue here. We talk about this word yesterday. And some people confuse this word uh, with the word desierto. But I have a question for you. How do you pronounce postre? Hmm? Do you know it? Dessert. Dessert. All right, let's see. Dessert. Oh, did you hear Annabelle? Hello, Annabelle. Are you there? All right, so dessert. dessert, exactly. Repeat it, dessert. I want to hear you, buddy. Dessert. Dessert. Exactly. All right, so, and then how do you pronounce the word desierto? Just to understand the difference. Desert. Exactly. Yeah. Did you hear the difference? So how do you say postre? Dessert. Uh -uh. This is desierto. Dessert. Desierto. Desierto, all right? Desert. Desert. That's desierto, desert. ¿Y postre? Desert. Desert. Desert, desert, desert. Exactly, all right? So desert, right. desert. That's what you need right. to remember, desert. Right. Very good. Excellent. So, and let's just continue with this one. Uh, okay. How do you say this one? This is in general, right? We Remember that they individually have different names. Like for example, this one right here is a spoon. This one is a fork. And this one is a knife. But all of them together are pronounced. How do you pronounce this one? Cutlery. 
Kuchuri. All right. So we'll be like this one. Okay, one more time. Cutlery. Cutlery. Repeat it. Cutlery. Cutlery. Exactly. So it's just like two words, like cut and then lery. Cutlery. Repeat cutlery. it. Cutlery. There you go. Cut. Excellent. So, and this is like in general, as I said before. Let's see. Everybody, how do you say cuchara? Spoon. Spoon. All right. Cuchillo? Knife. Very Knife. good. Tenedor? Fork. Fork. Exactly. Right? And thank you very much in this one. All right? And then you go on this one right here. A tablecloth. Tablecloth, tablecloth. All right? Do you use a tablecloth in your uh, table at home? Or just for special occasions? Or for special events? You know the tablecloth? Just, just for special events. Just for special events. You know, my t-shirt looks like a tablecloth. Huh? My shirt, I'm sorry. All right, so, but I like it. There we go. So let's just continue with this one. And let's just go on this. Oh, the side dish, everybody, side dish. The side dish, very good. What is the side dish? Hmm? El acompañamiento. El acompañamiento, all right, so what is it? Because you, I mean, you can say it here like guarnición, but what is guarnición in Spanish? Because I speak Spanish, but I don't understand that word. All right. So what is a guarnición? Mm -hmm. Have you ever heard about that? Mm -hmm. Yes or no? Hello? That's the Spanish people, who, the word I'm asking about, right? So what is a guarnición? Do you know that? Un acompañamiento, sí. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. All right, so. Okay, what else? What could that be as well? Mm -hmm. You know, but, okay, let me just give you this example so you understand that easily. When you go to buy hamburgers, all right? So you go to buy hamburgers. What is the main course? What's the main course when you go to buy hamburgers? Hamburger. The hamburger. hamburger. So what would be the side dish? Uh, the, the fries. The fries. fries, exactly, right? So the fries, that's the that's the side dish, which is part of the, uh, the main course. So, you know, el acompañamiento, or in, in, in standard Spanish, guarnición, right? So let's say this one. Then we go on this one. Napkin. Repeat everybody. Napkin. Hmm? Napkin. Thank you very much. All right. So sometimes the napkins are different depending on the restaurant, right? Sometimes, you know, the common napkins that we get are the, the whites that they are made of paper, right? But some restaurants have some napkins like those, the ones you can see here, right? Some people wear them here on the neck, all right? Um, or some people put them on their laps, all right? So depending on the restaurant and the customs um, people have, right? Then you go on this one right here. How do you call this gentleman right here? Uh-huh. This gentleman. How do you call it? Is it waiter or waitress? Waiter. Waiter, exactly, right? So, because waitress is the female version. So, for a woman who works in this position, it's going to be waitress. For a man, waiter, right? Are we, are we clear in this one? Do you have any questions at the moment? No? No. All right, excellent. So, Let's just continue with this one, all right? So this is the most difficult part when you go to a restaurant, the bill, all right? Because we all 
love food, right? We really love eating fast food or eating in a restaurant. But when you see the bill, oh my God, right? It's a headache, right? Because sometimes it's expensive. All right, the bill. And normally, besides that, you have to pay this. All right, a tip. Okay, let me ask you this question, guys. Do you normally pay a tip when you go to a restaurant? Yes or no? No. Yeah. Oh, some people say yes, some people said no, right? Yeah. Do you think? Uh huh. Go ahead. Sorry, Ursula. Go ahead. Some places uh, put the tip in, in the bill. Exactly. Some restaurants include the tip in the bill, right? So you don't have option to pay or not, right? And uh, But in your opinion, guys, the tip should be optional or not? Hmm? It should be. Repeat it. It should be. It should be. All right. Yes, of course. Right. So, well, I agree with you. Right. So, but, you know, it depends on you. If you want to recognize um, an excellent service by the waitress or the waiter, you can recognize it by leaving a tip, right, as something extra. Right. But as you said before, it should be optional. All right. Let's go with the last word right here, which is this one. And it's going to be. The booking, right? Booking, 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 booking. So we have this one right here. Yesterday or the day before yesterday, if I'm not wrong, somebody was saying, so what's booking? It's not like libro. Yeah, I said it's libro, of course, right? But also it means to make a reservation. That's why you can see it here with this meaning, right? So booking, booking. Have you ever booked a table in a restaurant or not? Is it common for you to, yeah. you know, to have bookings in a restaurant here in El Salvador? Um, it depends of the the kind of restaurant. Mm -hmm. Right. So commonly, it's just like, you know, you have to go and wait for an available table, right? But right. there are some restaurants where you can make a reservation, of course, right? Um, okay, excellent. So, well, we are going to stop right here with this activity about vocabulary. But please tell me, do you have any questions about vocabulary, the pronunciation of any of those words or anything else? No? Okay, thank you very much, all right? So let's see just this one right here, which is going to be... Uh, okay, here it is. Let's clean it and let's just go for it. Let's see. Okay, excellent. So, well, everybody, we are going to have a spelling practice right here. Okay. So, in this exer in this exercise, I want you to like go and analyze what is the word that you can see here. Okay, and then write it like the way you have it here. Understand? So you it. You need to unscramble the word. So the word is, is, is already there, but it's scrambled. So you need to unscramble it. For example, in number one, it says we pay that, and then you had the word and left the restaurant. So in this example, the word was bill. All right. And then you continue the same with all of them. So we are going to do this exercise in couples working in the um, um Breakout rooms, people, so you can see this in a better way there. It worked better, all right? Do you have questions about the activity before I send you to the breakout rooms? Yes or no? No? I think no. Okay, everybody. So let's just go ahead and go to the breakout rooms right now. There you go. Let me see here.
one second. All right, there is the request for you to join the groups. Please go ahead and join the groups, please. Let me share the image. All right, Nuria, Nuria, hello. Do you have any problems with, with that? Don't worry, I will try to send the request again, okay? Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Nuria, you're supposed to be in... Try again, please. Sir, please. So, no, no. So, I'm here right now to help you. Teacher, how are you? I'm good, and you? Uh, more or less, but uh, you need me in, in uh, number 11, please. Excuse Sign me? Up. Uh, need me in, in number 11. In 11. Sign up or, or Sapon? <laughs> Sapon. <laughs> now spoon. remember how do you say cuchara my friend uh, exactly spoon. okay so pong is what you're thinking on right now my friend 11, you wanna drink so you wanna have some soup for lot for dinner soup is sopa mm -hmm, correct but it's only with one o La número cinco. No yes. sé cuál. No. Yeah. Meal. Ah, okay. mm -hmm, correct. Mm -hmm. You know what's a different? You do, do you know what is meal? It's a synonym of food. Okay, okay. Meal. Meal, correct. Thank you. 
All right, so I will uh, go to a different um, breakout room right now. If you have questions, just call me, okay? Okay. All right. Questions, questions? I don't have idea in the 12 sentence. Uh, straps, algo así. Number 12, you said. Hold on, let me let me see my presentation so I can see the screen right now. Okay. Number 12. I always ask for a ah, when I order a cola. Hmm? What's that one? I have a question for everybody here. How do you say a pajilla? Oh, okay, and then it's straw. Exactly. Or uh, do you actually use the same word in Colombia, Andre? Pajilla? No, this year. Uh, I'm saying it's pitillo. Uh, what's the word? Pitillo. Pitillo, okay. But the word pajilla doesn't have any other meaning in your country. Yeah. In our country, popote. Okay. <laughs> very good, very good. Any other question? Oh. <laughs> Okay, very good. So if you don't have questions, I will go to a different room to see how the guys are doing, all right? Thank you, Dishar. You're welcome. <clears throat> Hello. 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 Do, you have, do you have questions? Um, we are working at 11 uh, at, at 12 11 uh, 12, oh, 12 that's easy D did you find it already I always ask for a straw when I order a cola oh that's 12 correct 12 yes a straw yes straw yeah Number thirteen. The last one. Table. Table. Correct. Super good. Or so that good job. Table. Yes. Yeah. Number fourteen. Tip. Tip. Let's leave a tip for the waiter. Yes. Questions, questions. Teacher. Mm -hmm. How do you spell? Number 11. Number 11. <laughs> Let's see, number 11. <coughs> oh, I have a question for you. How do you say? Um, cuchara in English. 
No, perdón, sorry, uh, 12. No, 12. Straw. Straw, straw. Right. Mm -hmm. Do you know what is it? Like pajilla. Ah. Like okay. popote. Popote in other countries, exactly. <laughs> or like uh, Andre Ser in Colombia, they, they call yeah. it pitillo. Number 15. I don't know. Number I will go to a different a different um room right now. If you have questions, call me, okay? Okay. Okay. All right. The number 15. I don't know. It start with T. Yes, it start with T. Is it must fast? Hello, guys. Hello, teacher. How are you doing, Guillermo? You finished? Mm, I almost finished, but I have um, some dabs in mm -hmm. some words. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, the number three. Uh, I don't know. No number second three, hacer. number three, number three. All right. So what do you have in number three? Or oh, you don't have it? No, I don't have it. All right, excellent. So, my friend, how do you say clientes? Oh, customers. There you go. Exactly. All right. So, uh -huh. customers, the number 11. Eleven, eleven. How do you say cuchara, my friend? A spoon. There you go. So, that's your answer. Okay. Okay, I almost finished the chair because uh, David is like a listener. Oh, a listener. Oh, you didn't tell me that before. You should have told me. So I will have switched you to a different room. But don't worry. We are about to finish the activity. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you. Price. Your price. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Low teacher. Oh, you finish? Yes. Okay, excellent. There you go. Excellent services. Service, deal, customers, free meal, menu, order reservation, salad wrap. Service, spoon, straw, table, tip, trays, and waiter. Oh my God, you did it perfectly. So I will have a lot of volunteers from this group participating and reading the sentences. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Was it difficult for you to find the answers? In some words. Some words. Yeah. Some of them are like not common, right? But at mm. the end, you did it wonderfully. All right. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So guys, we're going to stop right here. I'm going to close the rooms and then we can go back to the main class. All right. All right. Wait. See you there. Hello, hello. Okay. Oh, my goodness.
Someone there was like watching something there, huh? There you go. Excellent. Everybody back? No, we're missing for some people. Questions, questions. Okay, everybody, welcome back to the main session so we can continue right now. And uh, I'm going to share here the screen so we can continue with the results. All right, so let's see. Okay, everybody, now I'm going to be asking for volunteers. So one by one is going to help me reading the sentences, including the correct answer. Okay, so let's see who's going to be my volunteer for number two. Number two, number two, volunteer. Me teacher. Okay, excellent. So tell me what's number uh two here. Complete read it, please. Mm, uh, okay. That restaurant chef can cook really tasty food. All right, excellent. So it's actually chef. You're absolutely right. All right. So the word chef. There you go. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. You did it good. Chef. Excellent. Thank you. What about number three? Thank you. Thank you, Nuria. Go ahead. Okay. There are there are many more restaurant uh, customers on the week weekend. Weekend. All right. So that is correct. Customers. Good job. Excellent. Thank you. What about number four? Number four. Number four. Edwin. Thank you. Hello. Let's eat a home delivery. Let's call for home Let's... delivery. Home delivery. Very good. Excellent. Thank you, Edwin. Good job. All right. Who's next? Miguel. Go ahead, Miguel. The number five. Correct. Yes, breakfast is my favorite meals of the day all right exactly right remember that meal is just like uh, tiempo de comida right like breakfast dinner etc right so thank you all right so i can see ursula is next all right ursula tell me i look at the menu but i still can decide what to eat Thank you. Good job, menu. There you go. Excellent. So, thank you. What about next one? Guillermo again? Oh, no, that was Will before. Sorry. Hi, Guillermo. Go ahead. Please order. Order. Are you ready to order? Can you read it? Are you ready to order, sir? Sir, thank you very much. All right. Andre, tell me, number eight. Okay, I made a restaurant reservation for Monday. Exactly, reservation. There you go, excellent, thank you very much. Okay, so what about number nine, volunteer? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. People who haven't participated, volunteer, Daniel, Evelyn, Maritza, Henry. The number nine. Okay. Salad, please salad bar. Salad bar, exactly. I don't like meat. I prefer the food at the salad bar. Salad bar, all right, excellent. I have to confess something, right? I have you a group that tenía salad rab or arb or anything like that. I didn't say anything because I want I wanted to surprise them. But yes, it's a salad bar. Like for example, do you remember going to Pizza Hut when they had a salad bar and you can get all the things in one dish? Have you ever seen that before? Yes. All right. So, yes. And you included everything there, like fruit, ham, vegetables, whatever, right? So, like, with a big, uh, you pile, basically, the food there. 
All right, excellent. Andre, you want to help me with the next one? I like the service at the restaurant. The service. Uh -huh. Thank you very much. Service. All right. Thank you. Thank you. So what about the rest, people? Help me with that one. Henry, Evelyn, Maritza, Sonia. Huh? Okay. Mm -hmm. Henry, go ahead. Oh, oh, I just... Oh, I drop my spoon. I'll ask for another one. A spoon, right? Like that one. Exactly. Thank you. There you go. Excellent. Thank you. Anybody else for the next one? Maritza, okay. <laughs> I always, always ask for a straw when I order a cola. Straw when I order a cola. Very good job. Excellent. Thank you. Now we continue with this one, number 13. With light, a table for three, please. Thank you. Table. That was actually good. All right. What about next? Mm -hmm. That's easy, people. Let's leave a tip for the waiters. Yeah, tip, tip, tip. Very good. Uh-huh. For 15? Me, teacher. Right. Okay, that was who? Eduardo, right? Yes. Go ahead. Most fast food restaurants have Tries for customer to carry. Tries, trace. What is it? What's the what's the word there? Trace. Mm -hmm. How do you spell it? Vamos a ver. E mm -hmm. R A Y S. Trace, right? And what is trace? Trace is um bandejas. Yay, correct. All right, so thank you. And the last one, who can help me with the last one? Please. The mm -hmm. white ask it, use what we went into order. The waiter, exactly. Thank you very much. Excellent, everybody. So you guys were doing an amazing job right here. So thank you, thank you, thank you. You did it wonderfully here. So now tell me, uh, do you have questions about the vocabulary, about any word that you didn't understand, about anything else that you didn't get? Yes or no, people? Questions? No questions? Is it clear? Okay, excellent. Yes, no problem. So let's see. Let's just continue with the next one then. Okay. All right. So now that we have reviewed this one, we will have this a question to have the conversation with there. And we are going to start uh, answering those uh, questions that we have right there on the screen. So we have like two questions there. It says, um, what is your favorite starter? Remember what is a starter, people? Uh, como entrada, one. perdón. Excuse me? Una entrada, perdón. Una entrada, yes, exactly. All right, so started, right? So what's your favorite starter? Can you mention that one? A cup of coffee. A cup of coffee as an as a starter. Mm -hmm. Soup. A soup could be, yes, absolutely. A soup. Uh-huh. What else? No. Nachos with cheese. Nachos, yes, of course. With cheese. 
or like what's the name of this one i forget chili oh my god delicious 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 all right okay excellent so what else what else mm -hmm. what is it sometimes the restaurants serve a, a salad Mm -hmm. some salads as a yeah. as a starter right so you can talk about those those things of course right all right excellent and then the question here will be have you ever eaten at a restaurant and an all you can eat restaurant and what was the menu like have you ever gone to those restaurants who said all you can eat people yes or yes Mm, yes, teacher. All yes. right. So can you tell me about that experience, Guillermo? How was it? Mm, it was nice, but it's not for me. I mean, I don't need too much. Oh, I see. All right. But I, I want to live that experience. So <laughs> I pay for it. Okay. Basically, that's that's correct. All right. And, and, and what, was, what restaurant was it? I remember that was Papa John's mm. and the other one um, was El Sotano. El Sotano. Es como una taquería. Oh, El Zócalo. No, no, El Sotano, creo que algo así. Está en Antiguo. Right. Cuchla. Okay, okay. All right. So, yeah. So, all the tacos you can eat. Yeah, I remember. I have tried that too, right? But yeah, I took advantage of that promotion, of course. All right. So let's see. A anybody else? Have you ever had the experience of going to an all-you-can-eat restaurant? Yes, teacher. I have an experience. Okay. Tell me about it, please. In the restaurant, in the restaurant Los Balcones. Los Balcones. Okay. What hotel, type of food? In, need to, need to the airport. Uh, uh, in this day, it's a French, French, French food, and when you arrive, it, you decided that set a starter, uh, uh, cookies, and and piece of chocolate, uh, the the drinks part. Sorry, yo lo yo lo yo lo tengo. Okay. Plato principal de de de. In the main course, y lentejas, uh, no me acuerdo cómo es, pero but, uh, it's a big menu, friends. And right. when my friends uh, Let me help taking, you with the uh, taking um, many pieces of the, uh, uh, all, all, all eats in the, uh, in the camera bed. Mm -hmm. Había bastante, y al final había hasta para seguirse reenganchando con los pinchos y creo que al final pusieron unas galletas diferentes. Cookies, oh my goodness. That was interesting. A lot of food, right? Yes. Oh my God, all right. Did you pay a lot for that? No. <gasps> no, it's uh, $20, 20 for, for, for main scores. Twenty dollars and for all the food you ate, that was a good yes. deal, right? Yes. Ah, amazing. All right. Thank you, thank you, thank you for sharing that. Okay. Now let's see. Uh, anybody else? What's your favorite starter, or have you ever eaten in an all-you-can-eat restaurant? Who can share that? Excuse me. Uh huh. Have you ever eaten at an all-you-can-eat restaurant, girls? Ursula, Maritza, Sonia, Evelyn, or boys like Andre, Henry, Will? Uh, sushi, Las Terrazas, and La Multiplaza. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Do it. All right. And do you, do you eat a lot of sushi? Yes, I like. You like it? All right, interesting. Is it expensive? Uh, very good. El precio estaba bien. Cuesta como 10 dólares, creo. 
Okay, so we can okay. say it cost ten dollars. It cost ten dollars. Mm -hmm. And variedad. Uh, vari variety. Variety. The, the rolls. The rollers. Rolls. Okay, interesting. A sushi lover. Very good. Yes. All right, so anybody else? Who's next? Evelyn, Maritza. I like uh, the restaurant in Buffalo Wings. Oh, okay. Do, do like they have an all-you-can-eat promotion there? Yes, teacher. I didn't know. Tell me, what is the promotion about? Mm, the promotion uh, was... Two or three months ago. Okay. Okay. Uh, I like uh, wings. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like wings too, right? They are extremely delicious, especially from that restaurant. Very nice. All right, excellent. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's just continue here with the next activity. So, we have this one right here, all right? So this is gonna be something really short, all right? So we can go and read this one, all right? So I'm going to read the conversation about popular menu items for you. Pay attention to the pronunciation and the intonation. And then you guys um, will practice it with a classmate so we can work on this, all right? And work on the next activities we have later, which are this one so you can complete these sentences and these exercises, and then we go back to the next activity here, all right? So it says right here, how well are the new menu items doing? The main fish and chips courses are doing great. 90 per 99% of people like them. Then the new lemon cake line, it's not doing very well. Only 35% of our customers liked it. Let me check the online polls for recent products. Yes, just like you said, it seems that the new nacho snacks are doing great. 80% of customers like them. Probably we only have to revise the lemon cake since not many people reacted well. All right, so that's it. That's all you have to do. I just review the pronunciation and the intonation for you. So guys, we are going to go back to the breakout rooms in couples so you can practice this conversation and then you finish I uh, answering this activity that you have to complete based on the information you're going to read and the paragraph right here. Is it clear? Yes. Yes. Okay, excellent. So if that's the case, let's go back to the breakout rooms right now and then we can continue practicing, all right? Let's see. Go to rooms. Okay, Henry and Karen. Perfect. Um, Henry, Guillermo, Andre, can you go to your rooms? Thank you. All right, thank you. Ya lo encontré. Sí, la página 12 es. 
Did you find it? If not, can you send the image to the group? Yes, I find it. I found it. All right. I found it. I found it. Vaya, Sonia, lo que voy a hacer es que lo voy a compartir en la pantalla. Vaya, yo lo tengo ahorita aquí, pero. Pero si no, te vaya, lo puedo entonces... mejor. Vaya, vaya. Vaya, que. Okay. Mm. Mm. Uh, compare your answer with that partner. Okay. La primera sería. Lemon cake. No llega al 40%. Mm. Uh, no vamos a practicar la conversación antes. De una vez vamos ah, a contestar no? las no? preguntas. Perdón, sí, 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 sí. Ah, oh, very good, very good. Si gusta, empieza usted entonces. Ok. How, how will are the new menu items doing? Doing, doing, doing. The main fish. Doing. Mm -hmm. Ok, the main fish, uh, the main fish and chips courses are doing great. 99% of people like them. Then the new lemon cake line is not doing very well. Only 35% of our customers like it. Let me check the online poll for recent products. Yes, you like you say it sends the new notch. Como, creo que. ¿Cómo se lee eso, teacher? Notch. Notch. Como de nachos. Ya se fue el teacher. No, I'm here, I'm here. Nachos, nachos, nachos. Nachos, nachos. Nachos, nachos. Are doing great. Um, 80. 80% uh, of customer like them. Probably. We only have to revise. 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 I had to revise the lemon cakes since not many people reacted well. Uh, switch places. I'm uh -huh. going to start. Okay. That's great. How That's great. well? But give okay, the intonation, how... please. Give the intonation. Like, how well are the new menu items doing? Okay. We will try, teacher. Try it. Try it. Okay. Okay. How well are the new menu items doing? The main things. Fish and chips course are doing great. Nah. Um, 99. 99%. 99%. 99% of people like them. them. The new lemon cake line is not doing very well. Only 35% of our customer like it. Okay, uh, let me check the online polls for recent products. Uh, yes, just like you said, it seems the new nacho snacks are doing great. 80% of customers liked them. Probably we only have to review the lemon casings. Not many people received re Deaths will no, no sé cómo se le, re, re, reacted, reacted 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 will reacted reacted well reacted well correct okay entonces mmm, ahora sí okay Hoy sí, sí. La... good job guys I will go to a different room if you have questions just let me know all right okay thank you teacher thank you Uh, okay, Sonia, uh, the new lemon cake line uh, is not do doing very well. On 35% of all customers like it, it. Let me check the all online polls 
for recent products. Yes, just like your side. It seems the new nacho snack are doing great. 80% for 80 of customers like them. Probably we only have to revive the lemon cakes. Since not many people reached it well. Okay, great. You're doing good. As a recommendation, I can tell you to please try to give more intonation when you are reading the questions. For example, the first one, when it says, Nancy, uh, how well are the new menu items doing? Try to repeat it like that. How well are the new menu items doing? Try to repeat it. How well are the new menu items doing? Aha, you see, you sound different, right? Suenas different. Ya no suenas como like, how well are the menu items doing, right? So, un poquito más de corrido. You can try it, all right? So, yeah. try one more time. I want to hear you again. Can you repeat the um, the conversation? How well are the new menu items doing? The main fish and chips courses are doing great. 99% of people like them. Then the new lemon cake line is not doing very well. Only 35% of our customers like it. Mm -hmm. All right, good job. Continue. Let me, let me check the only poll for a recent product. Yes. Just like you say, it seems the new Nacho Snake are doing great. 80% of customers like it, them. Okay. Pro probably we only have to re revise the lemon case since not many people re re ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Uh, reacted, reacted well. Reacted, reacted well. Okay. okay, very good, excellent. That was better, it sounded better, right? So you can continue with the next activity right now, okay? Okay. Hello, so you finish here? Hello, hello. Hello, everybody. You guys finished? Hello. Yes, we finished, teacher. Ah, okay, Hello. you finished practicing. So it means that you can read it perfectly. Now, let me hear you. Ursula, creo que tuvo problemas de conexión, pero se desconectó, pero sí habíamos terminado. Ursula, I was with you. Okay. Let me, let me, let me yes. try. She's already in line. What is Ursula? What room is this one? This is room two. Uh, there she is. Hello, Ursula. Hello. All right, everything okay? Yes, um, everything okay. <laughs> okay, excellent. So I want I, I would like to hear you practicing. Can you practice one more time? 
Okay. I'm, I'm going to read. All right. Uh, who are you going to work with right now? Mm. Miguel or Edwin? Mm -hmm. Me, teacher. Okay, excellent. I'm going to help mm -hmm. you. I'm going to project the presentation so you can see it. Okay. Go ahead. How well are, how well are the new menu item choice? The main fish and ships course are doing great, 99% of people like them. Then the new lemon cake line is not doing very well. Only 35% of our customers like it. Let me check the online food for recent products. Yes, just like you say, it's the new match snacks are doing great. 80% of customers like them. Probably. We only have to review the lemon cake since not many people read uh, well. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. Just three words right there. Remember that the word, for example, here, this word, it's pronounced doing. Not, not doing, all right? Doing, repeat it. Doing. Doing, very good. Doing. Also, doing. this one right here is revise. Revise. Revise, and this one is reacted. Repeat it. Reacted. Reacted, all right. Excellent, thank reacted. you very much. So you guys were doing right. good. Okay, we are going to like close the rooms right here. And then we are going to go to the main session so we can participate there. All right. Okay, very good. So most of you are already here. Well, half of you. And I wait for the rest to join the class again. Mm -hmm. Okay, everybody, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. So, well, we can start right now again with full energy. Remember to apply the correct intonation, right, and pronunciation to the words. And I need two volunteers, two volunteers to start with the conversation. What's going to be my volunteer? Volunteer, volunteer, volunteer. Thank you, Wilfredo and Ursula, all right? So, you two guys, you two, Wilfredo and Ursula, okay? Okay. Okay. How well are the new menu items doing? The main fish and chips courses are doing great. 99% of people like them. Then the new lemon cake line is not doing very well. Only 35% of our customers liked it. Let me check the online food for recent products. Yes, just like you say, it seems the new nacho snacks are doing great. 80% of customers like them. Probably. We only have to revise the lemon cakes since not many people reacted well. All right. Excellent. Thank you very much. You did a good job on that one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good pronunciation. Nice fluency, Wilfredo. Ursula, good job as well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. My next two volunteers who are going to be my volunteers, people. Let's see. Let's continue. Okay, Andre, and we need one more. Me, teacher. All right, Andre and Miguel, go ahead, please. How well are the new menu items doing? 
The main fish and ships course are doing great 99% of people like them. Then the new lemon cake line is not doing very well. Only 35% of our customers like it. Let me check the online polls for recent products. Yes, you like you said. It seems the new natural snacks are doing great. 80% of customers like them. Probably we only have to revise the lemon cake since not many people reacted well. Okay, very good. Excellent. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys did as well. Fantastic, all right? I liked it. That was actually super nice. Okay, thank you. So now I need two volunteers more. Come on, who's going to be my volunteer? Come on, guys. Let's see. Next, 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 next. Thank you, Evelyn. Who's next one? Uh -huh. Who's going to participate with Evelyn? Henry. Okay, Henry and Evelyn. Thank you very much, guys. So let's continue. Go ahead. Okay, how well are the new menu eating good doing? The main fish and chip course are doing great. 99% of people like them. Then the new lemon cake line is not doing very well. Only 35% of our customers like it. Let me check the online polls for the same products. Yes, just like you say, it seems the new natural snacks are doing great. 80% of customers like it then. Probably, we only have to revise the lemon cakes since I know many people reacted well. Reacted well. All right. Very good job. Excellent. Thank you very much, guys. You did it wonderfully. All right. Now I need two volunteers more, but to help me complete in here the next task, right? So which is this one. Uh, this one. Oh, Jill, will you help me with this one, Jill? I saw your hand there. All right. So let's see on this one. Help me with this one. Who's going to help me with this one? Ryan? Hello, hello? Hola. Hi. Aha, uh -huh, Jill, tell me. What's going to be the correct answer for the new Lemon Kate line? What is it? Mm. The Lemon Kate. Mm -hmm. That's the, that the information, I mean, the information was in the previous paragraph. According to the paragraph... Yes. How much is the percent? Uh, 30, 35%. Percent, exactly. Thank you very much. All right. Mm -hmm. Excellent. So what about the next one? The new nachos. Jill? And 80%. 80%. All right. Very good. And the last one, fish and chips main course? And... Hundred percent. A hundred percent. Is that correct, people? No. No. Oh my god. Ah, so we have an extra a percent, right? So one percent more. So it's gonna be ninety-nine percent. All right. Don't worry. All right. If you see it here, of course, it says one hundred percent, right? But in the paragraph, it says ninety-nine. All right. So good. Okay, and now, uh, Jill, which of these three products has the highest percentage of acceptance? Mm. The highest mm. percent. Percentage, I'm sorry. No. No, you okay, no problem. Can, can somebody help her? Yes. Which of the three products has the highest percentage? Ursula, tell me. Fish and chips main course. Fish and chips main course. This is the highest. Remember, everybody here 
that uh, the word, this one, the highest, it means el más. El más que? Alto. Alto, Alto exactly, right? And if you want to say, like, for example, what is el más alto? Like, for example, the, those three right here is going to be obviously 99%. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So you did good. Questions about vocabulary? No more questions? No. Okay. Very good. Excellent. So in right now, give me just one moment. Well, I just check attendance right here. So let's see. Uh, Mr. Andre Pardo. You there, mister? Yes, sir. Sure. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Please say present. Carlos Enrique Rivas. Let me see. Carlos Enrique, is he here? No, okay. Uh, Daniel Ernesto. Present, sir. Thank you. David Emanuel. Present, teacher. Thank you. Uh, Edwin Esaú. Present, teacher. Thank you. Evelyn Yamilet. Present. Thank you. Jill Menjibar. Thank you. All right. So, Guillermo Eduardo. Present, teacher. Thank you. Henry Giovanni. Present, teacher. Thank you. Juan Eduardo Flores. Present. Thank you. All right. Catherine Beatriz. Present, teacher. Thank you. Maria Jesus Martinez. None here. Okay. Maritza Elizabeth Martinez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Miguel Angel Santos. Present, teacher. Thank you. Eh, Noé Gustavo Núñez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Nuria Mercedes Aviles Cruz. Present, teacher. Thank you. Reina Elizabeth García Alfaro. Present, teacher. Hello. All right. So, Sonia Esmeralda Mauricio. Present, teacher. Thank you. Ursula Gomez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Wilfredo Antonio Luna. Present, teacher. Thank you, everybody, very much for helping me on this one right here. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to move to a different activity here. Okay. No tengo activado el micrófono, teacher, pero presente. Ah, all right. Thank you. Yes, yeah. <laughs> don't worry. Don't worry. All right. All right. All right. Okay. So let's see. Okay, so right now this thing is loading right here. So just give me one quick second. Bear with me one moment. It's loading, okay? Okay, let's see. Hmm. Well, in the meantime, let's just move to this thing here. All right. Well, to take advantage of the time. So let's say this one. Take a look at this. This is like a menu from a restaurant, all right? And it includes all the vocabulary that, uh, you know, we have been working with, all right? So, and we have some examples of the things that we were discussing before. For example, take a look at this one right here. What do we have in this section, people? Entradas. Entradas, exactly, all right? So we have like the starters right here. Yes, 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 yes. The starters, all right? So we have, as you can see, soup, 
tomato soup, French onion soup, tomato salad, chicken salad, right? Uh, which is what you guys were saying before. Sometimes we can have some salads. Do you remember what is it's like the main courses? What's the main course? Plato principal. El plato principal, exactly, right? So we have the German sausage and chips, grilled fish. Oh, question, 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 vocabulary here, all right? So like this one, what is German? I mean, excuse me, I was on the word. Grill, 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 grill. What's grill? Mm -hmm. What is grill? A la parrilla, algo así. A la parrilla, exactly. That is correct. All right, so fish and potatoes, Italian cheese and tomato pizza. You know, some examples then, all right? Oh, talking about like the vocabulary here, what is roast chicken? Mm -hmm. Roast chicken, what is it? Pollo rostizado. Pollo rostizado. Hey, what's your favorite roast chicken here in Salvador, people? Um, oh, bonanza. Like, which pollo one? Bonanza. Pollo bonanza. Oh, yes, delicious. You know what? Tomorrow I will get a pollo bonanza for lunch. Price Mart. Price Mart. Yeah. From Price yeah. Mart? Roasted chicken from Price Mart? Yeah. The Peche Cosme. Peche Cosme. I have read about it, but I haven't tried it yet. I will try it one of those days. All right, excellent. So let's see. Now we have all the drinks, all right? So mineral water, French orange juice, soft drinks, English tea. Well, taking into consideration that this is an English cafeteria menu, so English, tea is mandatory, right? Irish cream, coffee, etc. right? So then we have the snacks. What's the snack, uh, snack people? Boquitas. Bocadillo. Bocadillos, exactly, right? Imagine they said the cheeseburger is a snack, and in these restaurants here is like the main thing in the main course, right? So, uh, look, burger here also is a snack. It might be a small one, perhaps, right? And then we have, uh -huh. how do you pronounce this word? Let's see if you remember. How do you pronounce Post it? Postres. Dessert. 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 These are posters. These are, all right, very good, excellent. Thank you very much. So this is just for you to see um this one at the moment, all right? And now let's see if the other um screen is already working so we can go back here and um, share it, one second. Questions about the things that you can see there, people? No? No questions. No questions. Okay, excellent. So let me see here. Take a look at that one. Okay. I will share the link here in the chat in Zoom so you can click on it. Or you can go to this website, joinmyquiz.com, enter the code, or you can simply click on the link I just shared. All right. Please. Click on the link I sent and try to enter. So I can see Daniel already here. Thank you, Daniel. Reina, Esme, Nuria, very good. You got like Halloween stickers here. Huh? Evelyn, Guillermo, okay. How many participants are we? So we are 2018 actually, because two of them are mine equipment. So, then very good. Stilly, nice. Okay, 12, 13, Maritza, very good, Miguel, Gustavo. We can start with two more, two more, two more. 
Huh? Come on, everybody. What happens? One more. One more and we start. Come on. Come on. Who's missing? Who's missing? We... Okay. With David. We start right now. All right. So this is just reading a restaurant menu. All right. So we are going to go in a very simple, you know, activity here. Okay. This activity, it's just like, um, you know, going and review a menu. So this is the instruction. All right. So, hey, I need a volunteer that can help me to read the instruction. Who's a volunteer, please? Uh -huh. Who is going to help me to read the instruction? Yeah, Go ahead, Miguel. Look at the menu and decide if each statement is true or false. There are 10 questions. That's it. Thank you very much. All right. So we are going to see um the menu here. All right. So, well, this is how it works. So I'm going to show you a menu. You can see the image of the menu and then you answer uh, on your side the questions. Right. So take a look at this one quickly. We're going to start right now. There you go. Excellent. So this is the menu. And this is the question, and you select true or false. Take a look, this is the menu. Remember that you have time. We have here the time. Yes, 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 you almost do it. Uh huh. Evelyn, Catherine, Eduardo are missing. Esteli, what happens? Uh... Catherine, Catherine, and Esteli, you are the ones missing. You still have ten seconds. Catherine, I just missing Esteli. Okay, everybody, answer. All done. Now let's see if all of you answered the question in a correct way. There we go, okay. You know, the fastest you answer the question, the more points you're gonna get, right? The más rápido conteste más punto ganan. Oh my goodness, people, that's a trick here. The restaurant, it's not. That's what happens right there, all right? So, eh, this one, it's not Jack. This one, el nombre restaurante no es Jack Restaurant. Eso es falso porque es, este era el nombre. Yes or no, people? You have yes. it, right? Jack's Restaurant. Exactly, right? Así que we got 10 yes and 16. Mm -hmm. We're going to see the next one. The same information. The same information here. The same restaurant menu. Let's go with the question. It says you can order a large cheese pizza for $10.99. That's the menu. That's the menu. That's the menu. Mm. Excellent, excellent. So let's see who's actually participating in this activity. I'm missing Esme, Evelyn, Catherine, Gustavo, Esteli. All right, Catherine, Esteli, Gustavo, Catherine, Esteli, Gustavo, Catherine, Esteli, Gustavo, Esteli, all right, Catherine, 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 you're the last, you're the last one, you're the last one, Catherine, please answer. You still have 15 seconds, come on. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. What happens with Catherine? Okay, just on time, all right? So, very good. Let's see. Mm -hmm. People are getting more points now, right? People, what happened, <laughs> right? So, the question says right here, you can order a large pizza for $10.99. Tú puedes ordenar una pizza grande de queso por $10.99. It's this one, pizzas, queso, all right, small, $8.99, large, $10.99. Entonces, ¿era false or true, people? It was true, yes or no? 
Yes, sir. Yes, it's it was true. People. Oh my God, people. Oh my God. All right. So let's see. Let's see. The next one. A question for on the same menu, right? From the same menu. Yes. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. It says there are four kinds of drinks on the menu. Four kinds of drinks on the menu. Yes or no? Okay. Who's next? Next, 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 next. All right. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, all right, all right. There you go, there you go. Okay, very good. Excellent. We are just missing Catherine, Catherine, come on. Five seconds, four, three, two. Very good, excellent. Let's see how it, it went. Mm -hmm. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Guillermo winning the first place. All right, Reina is the second one. Yes, oh my God, there were two people who said no. All right, so three, I mean, four kinds of drinks on the menu. Yes, eso era true. Aquí está, one, two, three, four. Butter, water, cola, coffee, and tea. Of course, all right. Next one, next one, next one. All right, all right. So let's see right now. The restaurant is closed on Thursdays. Let's see. The restaurant is closed on Thursdays. Is it true? Yes or no? The restaurant is closed on Thursdays. Yes or no? Mm -hmm. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, okay. Just one miss, one person missing. Ask me, ask me, ask me what happens. Ask me. There you go, exactly. All right. Let's see. <clears throat> Who's getting more points now? Uh, oh my goodness, Guillermo, they said bye-bye from the first place to the number six. Oh my goodness. All right, thank you. Let's say this one. The next question here. It says a peanut butter and jelly sandwich cost only 99 cents. Peanut butter and what is the other one? Jelly sandwich. Mm, peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Uh-huh. Only two people, three people. Oh, Catherine, answer quickly for this question. That's nice. Nice, 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 nice. Hmm? Hurry up, hurry up. We are just missing Daniel and Reina. Please, Reina, Reina, Reina. Three, two, one. Right on time. Very good. What? All right. <laughs> okay. Jill is winning now. Guillermo went back to his. Oh, oh my God. I empate otra vez. So let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. It says a peanut butter and jelly sandwich costs only 99 cents. Well, that's not true. Por qué? Or well, yes or no, people? Is it true? Yes or no? The peanut butter costs 9.99. All right. So add it jelly goes. for 129. So era falso. Porque solo el de peanut es el que cuesta 99. No los dos. Understood? 
There you go. Excellent. Yes. Reading the menu. The next one. The next one. All right. Take a look at this one. It says, a large coffee costs $2.49. Let's check it out. All right. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Excellent. 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 Mm-hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Weekly, weekly, weekly. We're missing Esme and Eduardo and Esteli. Oh, we are only missing now Esme and Esteli. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Estelí, 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 four, five, three, two. Oh my God, no answer. All right, so let's see. All right, Jill steals the first place, right in the second place, Guillermo third place. All right, yeah, everybody understood that one. Yes, the price is only $2.49, you are right, all right. We almost finished, we almost finished. Let's continue with one more. Mm -hmm. There are only two kinds of, how to pronounce this one, dessert or dessert? Mm -hmm. Let's see, let's see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Uh -uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. Yes, 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 yes. Mm -hmm. David, Esteli, Gustavo, Esme, missing. Now Esme, Esteli. Esme, Esteli, come on. Let's see. Esteli already done. Esme, Esme, hello, Esme. Finally, all right. All done. Very good. Let's see how many points. Oh my God, there is a change. Reina is in the first place. Guillermo, second place. Will, the third place. It's true. We only have two. That's it. All right. Very good. Very good. So let's see this one. Take a look, everybody. Take a look. Take a look. Take a look. Home delivery costs $12. It says there. Yes or no? Home delivery cost ten dollars. Home delivery cost ten dollars. Ten dollars. Home delivery. All right, Reina, Nuria, Eduardo, Gustavo. All right, Gustavo, Nuria, Reina. Eduardo, Nuria, Nuria, Nuria. Eduardo, Eduardo. Come on, Eduardo. <laughs> okay, very good. All done. Oh, what well, we're missing? Maritza, all right. Let's see, let's see, let's see. It goes right there. Reina win. Oh, Guillermo first place, will second place, Reina third place. Oh my God, more people with the incorrect answer. So what happens in here? It says, pay attention, home delivery cost $12, which is actually not true. It says right here, pay attention. It says free home deliveries on orders over $12. O sea, si la orden es más de 12 dólares, no hay costo en el delivery. That's what it says right there, all right? But thank you. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. All right. What's this one? Next. Next, 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 next. All right. All right. All right. So Jack's Burger Special costs more than a turkey sandwich. Yes or no? Yes or no, yes or no, yes or no, yes or no.
Okay. How many people are missing here? Let's see here. Let's see here. Okay. 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 Very good. One person missing. That's going to be Eduardo. Eduardo. Thank you. Thank you. Hold on. Let's see the answers. Guillermo winning. We'll, oh, we we'll got the first place now. Very good. He, correct. So it's true. That's actually correct. So it says right here, the Jack's Burger Special costs more than a turkey sandwich. Um, Jack's Burger Special, $5.99. Turkey sandwich, $3.99. So it's just like $2 more. All right. Very good. Excellent. The last one. This is the last one, people. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, let's see. Oh, we're on per person who's missing. Esteli, Esteli, you're the one missing. Time's up. All right, so let's see. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so the first place, it's Will. Second place, Reina. Third place, Jill. And yeah, it was that different number. It's a different number right there. All right. So thank you very much. All right. So yes, you're going to finish this to see how was it. All right. So congratulations to Will. All right. So got the first place. Uh, Reina followed the second one. Jill the third one. Daniel the fourth one. Guillermo the fifth one, and then so on. Oh, my God. All right. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. There was a nice activity, people, and thank you for participating on that one. All right. So now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to go to the last activity for today. All right. All right. So let's just go ahead and organize this menu together here. All right. This is going to be our last activity for today. Take a look, all right? It says that we have to organize this here, all right? So can you see it? This is on your book, all right? Of course, on your book, all right? And it says right here that you can, um, you know, organize this type of food that we have here in the different categories we have. So we have starters, snacks, main courses, desserts, Drinks. All right. So let's say this one. Can you help me organizing this? What would be this one right here, people? You can also add your own favorite uh, type of food here. Huh? So the chicken and rice. What will the, the Thai chicken and rice? What category should we use on that one, people? Starters, snacks, main courses, drinks? Main course. What is courses. it? Main Cor courses. Main courses. Very good. Excellent. So let me see here. Fix. Uh, all right. There you go. It's just here. Time. Chicken. And rice. There you go. Excellent. Thank you. So we got the Thai chicken and rice. So we got it here. Very good. So what about the next one? The next one, the next one. So this one, no more, right? Thai chicken and rice. French onion soup. Starters. Starters. 
starters. All right, so we got like the French onion soup, which is going to be here starter. All right. Very good. Excellent. So then we can continue with this one. And tell me, what about the burger? Snacks. Snacks. Correct. So that will be like this. Snacks. Snacks. Very good. All right. So what about the next one, ladies and gentlemen? The cheese and tomato sandwich. What would that be? Cheese and tomato sandwich. Snacks. Snacks. Snacks as the other sandwich that you can see there, right? So yeah, absolutely. It's gonna be like cheese and tomato sandwich. Absolutely. Here. I just realized that I didn't write burgers. I wrote snacks only. Oh my God. This one here. It's supposed to be burger. There you go. Okay, let's continue with this one. Lemon cake. Where? Dessert. Dessert. Yes, is what I hear. Thank you. Grilled fish. Main courses. Main courses. Excellent. Real fish, a rhyme, and potatoes. Okay, green salad, people, where? Green salad, where will that be? Starters. Starters, you sure? Yeah. Can the, can the green salad be the main course? Main course. Yes, because some people don't like to eat um meat, right? So they can ask for the the green salad. Mm -hmm. and there you go, excellent. Uh, English tea, drinks, 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 exactly, right? English tea, very good, excellent. The pink lemonade, drinks. drinks. All right. Do you like the pink lemonade, people? All right, excellent. So, and what about the next, the last one? Fruit salad and cream. Third dessert. There you go. Exactly. All right. There you go. All right. Excellent. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. All right. So, questions. About the vocabulary? No questions? Oops, the no. neighbor's dog is outside now. Questions? No questions? No. You no. sure? You sure? You sure? All right, all right, all right, excellent. So let's see here, let's see here. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so we are going to uh, stop the class right here because, you know, it's time for you to rest, all right? So if you don't have any other questions, so we can actually um, stop right here. Please remember to join the class, everybody, right? I guess it's important that you join the class every day. Um, if you cannot join the class at the time we have um, scheduled the class for, uh, you can at least join the class and be a listener, right? So, and then once you get home, you can uh, participate, et cetera, right? So remember that it is actually mandatory to be connected like the two hours completely, right? So, well, uh, again, any other questions, anything else you want to ask before you leave? No? No, teacher. All right, excellent. Please remember that if you have questions about like the class or you want to check thing again, you can go to YouTube so where you can find the classes recorded so you can watch them again and you can go specifically to that section where you 
um, you know, have questions about the topic, okay? Excellent. I will share the links on the on the WhatsApp group so you can have them, all right? So, well, everybody, thank you very much for joining the class. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good night, everybody. Take care. Good night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Take care.